the process begins. Harlan and I and, and all our publishing friends that we worked for, we decided that Patty Loveless had to hear this song and she should be the one that did it. So from that point on, for the next three or four months, that was our, our diligence. That's what we focused on doing, but she kept rejecting this song. She called it a ditty. And her producers thought the same thing. Ah, that's not what we're looking for. And we just kept pushing. A girl named Deborah Allen, who was also a fine singer from this town, got a hold of the song. She recorded it, did a version of it. And at that point in time, that summer, there was a movie being shot in Nashville here called A Thing Called Love. A kid named River Phoenix was the star in it, and some gal played his girlfriend or wife and, and how they were songwriters bent on becoming, you know, Nashville's finest and all that. So they got a hold of this song and it was just what they wanted for their movie. Well, as soon as... Doug Johnson and Patty Loveless heard that the movie folks were hot on this song that they'd been rejecting for the last three months that they called the ditty. Well, they just suddenly got religion, went in the studio, recorded it on a Friday, and it came out on the radio Saturday. So miracles do happen. And so this song was born. Rose Lane. Like 